Hey guys, welcome back. So this is actually the second time I've recorded this video because the first time I went through the whole process and I left the audio off. So there's I recorded the whole thing, no audio because I'm new to this software. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So here we go again. Uh, it's a really quick one. I was asked how I go from ZBrush to Fusion 360. Um, this is going to be a really basic uh, kind of project that I'm doing here. This is super easy, so uh, I'm going to just rip through this really quick, and you can see uh, it more in the future I'll show how to do more involved stuff. Like if you have a more complex shape and you need to redo it in Fusion, um, I can kind of do a walkthrough on that as well. But I'm going to minimize this thing here because I'm seeing myself. Let's hope I stay on screen. There it is. All right, so we've got our our piece here which is a an insert for CZ3's eye and you can see this is pretty um i don't know it's uh pixelated on the top like real low resolution and then uh, it's it's really basic so i need to make it clean and fusion so uh i need to export this now you can see how there's different colors here one of the things that happens if you export from zbrush to fusion when you export an OBJ file, is that when you re-import this part into Fusion, these different colors are going to come in as different pieces, even though it's technically the same piece in the model. So before you export anything out, you want to unify that if you want it to come in as one piece. If you want it to come in as multiple pieces, which can be really handy, go ahead and export it like this, and uh, it'll come in as multiple parts. But what I do to unify the poly groups is just hit Control W, and now they're all the same. You can cycle through the colors if you want. Just hit Control W multiple times if you want it to be a different color. So there's our piece. Now we're going to go make sure we are selected, which obviously we are. This is our piece here. Um, and I also have it on solo mode, so you can see the old one was in some weird orientation. That's another thing I should sit and talk about really quick is this is the original orientation. Um, I took the one that I'm going to export and I reoriented it so it's vertical in uh, ZBrush. You can reorient the models in Fusion also, but it's a little easier to do in ZBrush. It's not hard to do in Fusion, but it's easier in ZBrush. So I've done it here. Basically, we go up here, we hit export. You already have a piece here, so uh, CZ3 iPlug. I'm not even going to save it again, but that's the way you do that. And then we're going to switch over to Fusion. Uh, now, I've already modeled this, so you can see it here, but we're going to do it over just for the sake of this video. Uh, insert, insert mesh, find our file here, CZ3i insert, and there it is. This is the one from ZBrush. This is not the one from ZBrush. This is the one that I already exported as a, as a model. What am I doing? I was like, wow, it's so clean. That's the weird. Okay, we're going to do the correct one now. Insert. Uh, cancel. I'm sorry. We're going to go insert mesh. Boop. There we go. Correct button. Uh, I plug. OBJ file. There we go. This is the one we need. So there we go. See how it's all wonky and gross? Um, so now that it's in here, you can basically remodel it. Uh, typically, I would go to some kind of side view, front view, top view, whatever view is going to be easiest for you to, to model this thing. Now, because this is just like a basically a cylinder with like a, a little arch on the top, an arc on the top, a bevel, curved surface, I'm just going to go into this front view and basically create. We're going to do a new sketch. And when you go to create a sketch, let me see. Why did I just do that? I don't know. It's freaking out on me here. Usually it makes you. There we go. There we go. So you would select this down here. Oh, I didn't cover a thing. Let's go back and do this. This import again. I'd already done this earlier and I left a step out. So dumb. So we're gonna get out of that sketch. We don't need to do that yet. Ah, <sighs> guys. I did it so smooth on the first try. So we're trying it again. Here we go. Insert. Insert mesh. Bring in the eye plug. Boop. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to center and then move to ground. Now it should, if I did this correctly, there we go, move to ground. Uh, and then we hit OK. Now, if I did this correctly, it should be 
in the correct place. So it's centered in our scene. We can turn on the origin. Yeah, so if you turn on origin here in Fusion, it'll show you your your basically your your midpoint of the scene. So this now is correct, which is real nice. Uh, now, now we will go to create sketch. It's going to make a lot more sense now that we see it this way. So when you go to create a sketch, it lets you pick a face. So you can come up here and choose which face you want. We're going to pick front. Um, now for this, there's tons of different ways to do this. I'm going to do it the super fast way. I'm going to make a line right at the center, which we're going to probably use in a few moments. Um, I just do a rectangle from here to here like so um, and then I'm gonna come up here a little bit closer and see what is the closest step to the real one now this the scan is pretty pretty wonky so I'm gonna come to about there I think it looks about right and make another line here from here to the end that looks good um, and then we're gonna make an arc create arc three point just gonna go end to end now I go over in the in the um, the other video that this is the really quick like rough way to do this there are faster not faster there are there's probably faster ways to do. There's a bunch of different ways to basically do the same process that I'm doing right now. And um, the the way I'm doing this is this looks like super quick and dirty, I should say. They're not getting in and adding, defining all my shapes and everything. Like if you're going to do this proper and you want to, like you're engineering a part for something, you're going to want to put all your constraints in so that basically all of your lines are defined and your scales are defined and if you work in the proper workflow then when you make changes to the base model they uh, propagate out to the rest of the model so if you've added like tons of details and holes and like uh, mounting points and so forth but then you have to change a, a major scale of some aspect of the model those all your pieces will still be correct even though you've changed something drastic on the model it's hard to hard to explain without showing it, but I'm not doing that today. So uh, anyway, going through here, I'm just trimming off this extra stuff. So here's our shape, real easy. There's our profile, um, and we're going to come up here. Say that looks fine. Say finish sketch. We're going to go to revolve. Grab the piece here in our axis. We're going to select this middle line. Boop. And now there's our part basically redone. So here's the, the mesh underneath it. And there's the, the new version, the clean version on top. Now for the one that I did before, because like I said, I re recorded this already, I, I gave it a little bit of, um, I did a chamfer and then a fillet on the side here. So when it's inserted into the, into the piece, it'll be a little easier to do, just in case, just to, just to help. It doesn't need this. But, um, so yeah, anyway, that's it. That's all it takes. Uh, again, I will get into more complex remodeling of parts in the future, but this is just a real quick go-to between ZBrush and, so you can see, like, this original piece. It's all ugly on the top. And uh, then Fusion, which is way nicer. So hopefully that's helpful to some of you. Um Again, I'll be back in the future to do more. Sorry, I'm a little frazzled. I already did this. So I'm trying to remember what I said and what I didn't say and go over it again. But anyway, I'm getting out of here. Uh, thanks, guys, for stopping by. Hopefully, this recorded the audio this time. We will find out soon. And uh, see you guys later. Bye.